Welcome to Acrylic Painting with me, Julie E. And yes, I've got a mess, but this whole part here is a very organized mess. That over there isn't. And we've got lots of visual aids because today we're not actually painting. We're going to be creating jewelry. Now, I know I've already done an acrylic skins jewelry making video, but a lot of the footage was blurry and everything, and I'm feeling a bit under the weather due to my allergies. And this was just something simple and easy that I like to sit and do. It's relaxing, and yeah, I, I just enjoy it. And I thought I would record the process, bring you in, and hopefully get some better angles and views and more of an explanation of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So in almost all of my painting videos, you see me lay down a piece of paper like this, or you don't see me actually lay it down, but it's there. And what this is, is it is freezer paper. And kind I get is made by Reynolds. Um, yeah, it's just plain freezer paper. Other places call it butcher paper. Um, and what I do is I lay this down and I put it shiny side up. And what that does is it catches all the drips when I'm pouring my paint. So say I pour this and it runs over the edge. Anything that lands on the table then lands on this paper. And then if I don't just scoop up all the runoff off of this paper and pour it back into a cup, what I will do is I will leave it to dry on that piece of paper and then it becomes an acrylic skin. And I have to tell you, and, and then when you do it shine side up, it just peels right off this paper when it's dry. And it only takes a day or two here in Arizona to dry. So, and it is oddly satisfying to pick and peel at these skins. They're just very, very fun to play with. And you can use them for lots of things. They don't have to just be used for jewelry. Uh, you can cut shapes out of them, make greeting cards, um, thank you cards. You can resin it, say around a vase or even maybe a bracelet cuff. Um, yeah, there's just all kinds of uses for these. And when you're not using them and keeping them, you need to keep them stored in a somewhat airtight way. So that way they don't dry out and become brittle and crack really easily. Um, so see, mine are quite malleable and bendy. Um, the little ones like this, I put in little freezer bags. The other ones that are like this, I keep them wrapped completely and then I store them in larger bags. And you can even sign and date the roll of paper so you know better which ones are in which and stuff. Um, so, okay, that is what an acrylic skin is and what it can be used for. And what we're going to use it for today is for jewelry making. And what you need for jewelry making is little cabochons, little glass cabochons, and the trays that they set in. Now you can get these jewelry kits off Amazon and these are all pretty much around the 25 millimeter size. Do not remember what the earring size is, but I have little French hook earrings here also that are very cute. And so you can make an earring and necklace set. But yeah, you're gonna want jewelry tray blanks and matching cabochon jewelry kits. And that will help get you started. Then you can also order um, silver chains. 
you get these off Amazon too. These are just regular silver chains. Or you can get um, the braided leather, and you can get that in different colors. Black, brown. I had some white, but I think I used all the white ones up because I thought it looked so cool. But yeah, so a lobster claw clasp. So you get those. And yeah, all of it's available on Amazon. Uh, you also need a pair of crafting scissors, or what I like to use are Lexan scissors. They have a little bit of a curve to them, and they're nice for trimming around round surfaces and corners and stuff. Um, and they're specially made for cutting plastic. Uh, what else? Oh, yes. Cannot forget the glue. I love Diamond Glaze by Judikins. Judikins Diamond Glaze. Get that on Amazon also. I should become an Amazon affiliate or something, shouldn't I? Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I love this stuff. It dries really fast. It dries nice and clear. Um, I've never had an issue with it and it's water-based so it cleans up easily too. And there's no odor. It um, doesn't seem to be an eye irritant like some adhesives can be, like super glue. Super glue is a really bad eye irritant. I remember um, my dad tried to fix his eyeglasses one time with super glue, and after that, he couldn't wear them because the super glue fumes were constant even after it was dry. So, you gotta be careful with the adhesives you wanna use. This one I love, and I swear by it, it works really great. And this bottle has lasted me over a year. This is the same bottle that I used in the very first um, jewelry making video over a year ago. So <laughs> yeah, it, a little goes a long way and it's not expensive. Okay, so that is all of our supplies. Um, let me bring you down closer so you can get a better look of the magic that is going to happen. Okay, so I have some that are already on here and glued, and I'll show you those in a minute. Um, let's see, let's peel, whoa, back out. <laughs> oh, focus. Okay, I'm gonna just peel up a little section of this skin here because it's got some pretty cool stuff on it. Oh gosh, it's hard to know where to cut these sometimes because you don't want to cut through the prettiness. Hmm. Okay, you just got to take a risk and start going for it. Okay, so let's go that way. Okay, we got that. So now we got that and now we're going to pick out just a camichon and it can be any shape you want. Let's go for a rectangular one. I have rectangular ones also. Once again, all these came off Amazon. Um, um, the black tray. Okay, and you want to clean these. So if you have a little bit of alcohol and a paper towel, okay, okay. So I'm just gonna get some isopropyl alcohol here. And put some on this little cloth. Give it a good wipe. Just removes any oils and fingerprints. And hopefully you've washed your hands good before you do this so you're not leaving a whole bunch of little fingerprints all over your glass. You don't need to glue somebody your fingerprint. <laughs> okay, so there is a bezeled, bezeledness to this. You can see this side is flat and this side is rounded. It's curved. So you are going to glue 
the flat side down. Now, what we have to do is we have to find a really cool point of interest. Now we could put it there. Are you in frame? Let me make sure you're in frame. See, that's cool. That looks kind of neat. And then there's an area over here that's kind of cool too with a lot of greens and purples and blues. This is a really dark skin. Hopefully you guys are picking that up. But, okay, so, then once you find where you want it, you just put a couple of teeny little drops down. That's all it takes. Just itty bitty little drops right there. And then you kind of just slide it into place until you get it exactly where you want it. There we go. And it's that easy. Now, when you have dark skin like this, it's really pretty, it's very metallic and shiny. Um, you can also embellish your skin, skins. Um, I've got some Posca paint markers. These are acrylic markers. These ones are glitter. They're pretty, pretty. And yes, one of my viewers was sweet enough to send these to me and I thank her so, so much. And I am using them. You gotta give them a good shake. And then, ugh, we'll get it started. Here we go. Okay, now that it's started, okay, you want to draw more lines. If you want to draw a flower. You can do that. And then you would just let this dry and then glue your cabochon over the top of it. But that is just one of the ways you can embellish even your skins and use Posca markers. So fun, fun, fun. Okay, let me set that aside and let me set this aside. That is basically all there is to it as far as gluing a cabochon in place on your acrylic skins and you can run your finger over the back of it just to help get any possible air bubbles out and then just let it sit over there to dry like we did with these and these are all dry so what we do next is, now that they're dry on the skin, we are going to go around and just trim the outside edge off the cabochon. There we go. And don't forget that in case you <laughs> glued earrings and stuff on the same one, don't just cut the one cabochon off and toss it to the side and forget it and accidentally throw away other cabochons that might be glued on there. I'm good at that. <laughs> yeah, and then just go around and trim any off the edges like so. There we go. There is that one. Now, you want to try and find a matching tray. Um, let's see. Yes, I have some plain little trays over here. Whoops, that's a heart. I don't want a heart. I want a circle. I want a circle. There we go. 
and then that's going to go in there and then you just want to figure out from there what your orientation is going to be but before I decide that let me go ahead and trim out the earrings real quick see how quick and easy this is it's so fun and the drying time is nothing. By the time I am done um, trimming and setting these two, that one should be ready to trim. That one that you first saw me glue down just a few minutes ago. These are little critters to hold on to. So just be really careful when you're doing this in case your scissors are super sharp. There we go, there's one. And then this one. And you can use crafting scissors also. They don't have to be the Lexan um, type scissors, although I think they work beautifully. And you can get them, I think, woo, slipped right out, little bugger slippery like soap <laughs> but um ah there it goes again <laughs> um what i was saying oh the luxan scissors they're like what eight dollars for two pair on amazon and they're spelt just like it sounds luxan l-e-x-a-n If you happen to get a little bit of glue on the top of your um, glass, if you can catch it while it's still wet, it wipes off really super easily. Um, if it's dry, just go ahead and glue it into the jewelry tray first and let it set up and then go around with some alcohol on a paper towel and scrub it all up. and pick at it and get it all off that then. It's a lot easier doing it that way than trying to do it while your paint skin is still exposed on the back and easily scratched. So yeah, just wait till they are all mounted and dry before you try to remove any type of um, glue or dirt off the top of the cabochon. All right, now we're going to mount these. Let me get out my little earring trays. There we go, there's two. Okay. And again, we're just gonna use the Judikins. And it just takes one little drop like that. And then here comes the hard part, figuring out which way. I think I like, I kind of like the blue to one side. So I'm gonna put the blue to one side this way. And unlike a lot of jewelry makers, <laughs> I'm going to put this one with the blue facing the other way. So that way it'll actually be a left and a right. One little drop. Maybe just a little bit more. There we go. A little drop. Okay. And in it goes. And you hear a little snap. It snaps kind of right into place. And there we go. There are our earrings. How cute are those? Oh my gosh. And then, let's see, what if I put the blue kind of downward? That way the blue on the necklace isn't picking a side left or right. There we go. Okay, that's how I want it. So I'm gonna hold that there. 
And then in the regular tray, you just want to put one little, two little, three little, four little, five little, and center. Just those little dots. And then lay it over in the orientation you want. And give it a little snug little push. And there you go. Okay. I also have little jewelry cards that are nice. Let me get one right here. Show you everything start to finish, huh? <laughs> These are my little jewelry cards. And they're blank. And I have little, little cellophane paper that the cards fit into. And then I have a business stamp. And if you've ever bought a piece of my art, you will see this stamp on it. And that is my Etsy shop where you can buy all this fun stuff. And I just pop that down. Boom. That is stamped. And then I will set that over here to dry. And while that dries, the ink, because um, yeah, you don't want to smudge the ink. While that does that. And we'll get chain out Come on. There we go. Get through there. And these are nice ones. Um I think these chains are Oh gosh, 20 some inches long. Now I'm not going to remember. Now you can make me want to go get a ruler and figure out how long these were. Um, let's see. I will stretch it out there. And where is my ruler? Do, do, do. Here's one. Okay. So we start it there. That's one. So yeah, the 24 inch. 24 inch chains and I like them because not everybody has a small neck okay now by this time your ink is dry and it's not going to smudge so then you put that on here put that on here there we go And get a little bit more alcohol. Wipe the posts. Nice and clean with a little bit of alcohol. Because you never know, some people might just take them off the card and boom, stick them right in their ears. So, got to think of their safety too. Okay, so there's one. And boom, there's the other. And how cute is that? Aren't those pretty? Boom. And then just slide it into your cellophane paint. Reorganize it. Or, come on. go. Peel this little adhesive thing off. And give it a nice fold. And there. It is all set. Now all you have to do is take 25 photos of it, list out an entire description, and post it to your Etsy shop. <laughs> there you go. That's how it's done. Um, yeah, so, okay, let's check on the one that we glued in the beginning. We 
go. Oh, look at that. Our little Posca pen is dry. Cool. All right, let's uh, go through here and trim. Sorry, I'm completely coming off out of frame for you. Okay, and there. Oh. I may need another little drop. Yep, I need another little drop on the end. Can you see it's lifted right there? So, that one has to be re-glued again before it can go in a tray. But you see how fast it dries. But yeah, my ends didn't get enough glue. So, that's an easy fix. Just a little dab there. Dab there. There we go. And then we'll set it back over to dry. And while that's drying, we can either glue more cabochons or trim more cabochons. So we've got quite a few pretty ones here. And I think that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and I will trim all these up. And when we come back, I'll show you the finished products. <gasps> oh, I just did that. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to use this one as a good example to show you how to clean this from having all kinds of glue and fingerprints all over it because, yeah, I just landed it face down in the glue. So it is a mess, but I will show you how easy it, this glue cleans up. And, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> uh, these I love. These I really love. I love that pink and gold together. It's just beautiful. I hope whoever buys these is or gifts them to a breast cancer survivor because they just remind me of pink ribbons, don't they? Little pink ribbons running through gold. Because if you have survived breast cancer, look at that gold in there, you are a treasure to behold. And that's what I think of when I think of these. I just, I love these. So that's who I hope gets them. We'll see. Okay. This should be set enough. Now, get our alcohol paper towel again. And more alcohol on here. There we go. And then just hold it up here by the, um, was that the bale? I think it's called the bale. And just wipey, wipey, wipey. That easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And here it comes popping out the other side. There it is. How pretty is that? Pretty, pretty. That one will go on a leather cord. Okay. There are our finished products. How cool are those? Really neat. Like I said, this set. I just love, absolutely love that set. But yeah, that's all of them for tonight. And um, yeah, I hope I gave you all the information that you need on how to make these, what products to um, order, and 
start with to get your creations off and running. And yeah, hopefully you can start making some of your own gorgeous jewelry for either yourself or as gifts or to sell like I do. And um, if you don't have the availability to the products or the crafty inclination to make them, you can always visit my Etsy shop <laughs> and pick some out for yourself. Um, all of these that I just created should be in here at the time of this video. So go take a look-see if there's one you like. Go ahead and order it. I will send it out to you personally. Um, until next time, guys. Loves and hugs, y'all. Stay safe. Bye.